Amen. Y'all don't act like, like it look outside. Amen. We got something to be excited about. Amen. We got great news yesterday. Amen. Our brother is sitting up in the bed talking. Amen. That's something to give God praise for. Let's us know God is still good. God is still in the healing business. Amen. And I don't know what you come to do, but I come here to give God some praise today. Because as good as God has been to me, and as good as God has been to Bill McDuff, amen, I can't afford not to praise his name, amen. Oh, come, come. Come, there's a door here. Kneel down before him. Worship and adore him. Amen. This time we'll have our scripture reading by Minister Gilliam and our prayer by Minister Alexandra. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Uh, our scripture reading will be coming from Psalm uh, 22. Starting at verse number 22. down to 31. I will declare thy name unto the brethren in the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Ye that fear the Lord, praise them. All the seeds of Jacob glorify him and fear him that all the seeds of Israel. Yes, sir. For he have not despised nor at heart at the affliction of the afflicted. Mm -hmm. Neither have he hid his face from him, but when he cried unto him, he heard. Yeah. My praise shall be of thee mm -hmm. in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. <coughs> the meek shall eat and be satisfied. Mm -hmm. They shall praise the Lord that seek him. Yeah. Your heart shall live forever. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nation yeah. shall worship before thee. For the kingdom is the Lord, and he is the governor among the nation. All that be fat upon the earth shall eat and worship. All that go down to the dust shall bow before him, and none can keep alive his own soul. A seed shall serve him, and shall be accounted unto the Lord for a generation. They shall come 
and shall declare his righteousness unto the people that they shall be born and he have done this. And the church said, Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we come just to bless your name. Lord, we come just to give you praise, honor, and glory. Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy, Lord God, and we thank you, God, for just being in the house of worship one more time. Father, you said if thou would be lifted up, you would draw all men unto you, Lord. So, Lord, we ask that you just begin to draw us closer to thee, Lord. If ever a time we need you, Lord, we need you now. Some need you for one thing, Lord God, and some need you for another. Lord, we ask that you create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit. You said, ask and it shall be given. Lord, you said, seek and we shall find. God, you said, knock and every door shall be opened. So, Father God, we ask that you just move every mountain, Lord God. Move every hindering spirit, Lord God. And help us to praise you like never before. We thank you, for God, for being our way maker. We thank you, God, for being an awesome God. We thank you, God, for not leaving us and not forsaking us. We thank you for being that present help in the time of trouble. Lord, we just give you praise today. Father, you said no weapon formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises up against us shall be condemned. Lord, some people need you, Lord, for healing, Lord, and we know there's healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ever ask or think. And so, Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for being so awesome to us, Lord God. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Lord, we ask that you just order our steps, Lord God. Thank you for being that way maker, Lord. Lord, we pray that you remember the sick, remember the prison bound. Remember the ones that's been in bereavement, Lord, and the one that's going through today. And, Lord, we ask that you just... Bless everyone that assembled in this house today. Whatever they need, Lord, we pray that you just grant it unto us. Give us favor, God, wherever we go, Lord God. Help us to be a testimony to someone that's, that needed, Lord God. In a time of trouble, Lord, you said you won't leave us and you will be with us, God. And we thank you that what we've been through did not break us, Lord, but it made us turn to you and give you praise. And for that, oh, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we pray that you anoint Sister Betty afresh, Minister Betty, and use her for your glory, God. Lord, we know that you are able to do all things but fail. Lord, remember the ones that's not here that's traveling on the highway. Give them traveling grace. And, Lord, we pray that you just bless every minister, every organization of this church, Lord, and we just give you praise. Thank you for being in the midst one more time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
more Sunday fellowship will be here at New Prospect today. Yes, Reverend God. Sterling Hill, Sr., pastor of the Cedar Grove Baptist Church, will deliver the gospel message. Service starts at 2. Amen. Amen. The 36th anniversary for WPJM is today at 5 p.m. Featuring Pastor Cohen and Men of God, Roy and the Revelations, Doc McKenzie and the Highlights, the Candace Spirituals, the Gospel Legends, and many others. This will be at the Christian Fellowship Church, 1343 Grill, South Carolina. Amen. Amen. Dear pastor and congregations, Mount Zion CME Church will be observing Family and Friends Day. Today at 11 a.m., we're extending an invitation to you and your congregation to be a part of this day. We're looking forward to having your church family share this day with us. The speaker for this program will be our very own Mr. Jamie Matbeth. The family that prays together stays together. Yours in Christ is Taisha Fulmer. Secretary Reverend Christy Coins is the pastor. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We, the Mount Calvary Baptist Church family, would like to invite you and your church family to our Good Friday service. This program will be on Friday, April 7, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. Our guest minister will be Pastor Juanita Giles, pastor of the New Breed Evangelical Church in Union, South Carolina. Please come out and help us lift up the name of Jesus as we commemorate Jesus' crucifixion. Yours because of Calvary, Pastor Katina C. Posey. Taste of Woodruff will be March 30th from 530 to 8 Main Street, Woodruff, South Carolina. Join us for A Taste of Woodruff on Main Street. Limit, limited tickets available. Registration is required. Also from the city of Woodruff, the Woodruff Extravaganza, April 8th, 2023, 10.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. McKinney Park, 231 East Haines Street, Woodruff, South Carolina. White Plains Baptist Church family cordially invites you to the 30th year's anniversary celebration honoring our pastor, Dr. Johnny L. Johnson, Jr., Saturday, April 15th, 5 p.m., 2023, at the Ridge at Lawrence, 301 Exchange Road, Lawrence, South Carolina, 29360, and there is a $30 contribution. For ticket information, contact Sister Sharon Boyd Watts at 864 923 9104 or any member of WPBC. Wellfoot, South Carolina recording artist, the Mitchell Gospel Singers anniversary will be on June 4th at the New Bethel Fire Baptized Church, 549 Watford Street, Spartanburg, South Carolina, where pastor is Martha J. Cartwright. Time, the doors open at 3 and the program starts at 4 p.m. Master of Ceremonies, Mr. Minister J Joseph Jojo Wilkins and Minister Wallace Young. Our special groups will be the Voices of Harmony, the Worship um, Praise and Worship Pastor Vincent Happy Feet, and several other groups. Come help us lift up the name of Jesus because he has been good. Yours in Christ, the, the Mitchell Gospel Singers. Amen. Continue prayers for all of those that are on our healing list. A happy birthday to all of our March birthdays as we continue to celebrate National Women's History Alliance, which spearheaded the movement for in March, being declared National Women's History Month, announced Women's History theme for 2023 is celebrating women who tell our stories. Today we salute someone um, that specializes in natural hair care as well as extensions. I have been behind the chair for over four years. I was raised in Woodruff, South Carolina and graduated Woodruff High School. I then choose to further my education at Kenneth Schuler School of Cosmetology. I am now one of many black owned salons located upon Main Street. I have been in the business for two years and I can't wait to see where God continues to take me. When I am not behind the chair, I am spending quality time with my two children, bonding over our favorite activities and being outdoors. Where quality meets efficiency 
is my motto. And we, we salute all women. We salute everybody but to this month, Women's History Month. Does anybody know the person, the bio that I just read? Not all at once. <laughs> Okay, Akila Mays, that is correct. And she is behind, the face behind Stitch and Style LLC, Woodruff, South Carolina. And Sister DeGraff and Reed has a treat for you. Thank you. Y'all give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. Welcome to each and every one of you. Happy birthday and anniversary to those celebrating. This is the fourth Sunday uh, of the month, so ask all March uh, birthdays, please stand. March, amen. Miss Daw, Brother Otis Booker, uh, Trustee Keith Hunter, amen. Miss Ursula Wright, amen. Happy birthday <laughs> to all the March babies, amen. Anniversaries, amen. I, I heard. Somebody last week say, I think 56 years, uh, Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Bob and Bet Jeter. Amen? Amen. 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 Happy. Didn't you say 56, Miss Bet? Yeah. Yeah, 56 Aww. years. Amen. Aww. Amen. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Amen. That's a long time. Some people can't stay together 56 months. <laughs> Amen. That's all right. 56 years. Amen. That's a blessing. Amen. Please keep those on our healing list in your prayers. Amen. Continue prayers for Miss Ethel Browning. Continue prayers for Miss Sharon Robinson. Uh, we ask you to keep in prayer Miss Barb Jeter. Amen. Miss Barb is scheduled to have a procedure done on tomorrow. So we ask you all to please keep her uh, in your prayers. Amen. Amen. Also, as y'all heard me say uh, earlier, and many of you know, amen, Brother Bill Macbeth, amen, the last three weeks, amen, uh, he's been having some difficult days. Uh, he went from being on the ventilator uh, to not being on the ventilator, but from talking to his family, amen, they didn't think uh, things weren't looking too good on last Tuesday for him. And uh, on yesterday morning, uh, I told y'all Wednesday on the Bible study, and we'll talk about that in a minute, but, uh, you know, they couldn't get him to wake up. But on yesterday, amen, God saw fit for him to wake up. Amen. Able to talk a little bit. Able to get out of the bed a little bit. That lets me know God's still in the healing business. Amen. Amen. That's something to, to get excited about. Uh, his family sincerely thanks each and every one of you for your prayers, your thoughts, and your concerns. Uh, we know, amen, he still has a little ways to go. Amen. But God ain't bought him this far to leave him. Amen. 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 And we thank God for blessing Mr. MacBell. Please keep the all bereaved families uh, in your prayers. Families who love one have went home to be with the Lord. You got one. Thank you, D. Amen. And uh, I ask you all to keep uh, this uh, man. I don't know if y'all know him or not, but if you can pick up 1180, you know it. 1180 uh, AM WFGN, the gospel station in Gaffney. One of their co-owners, uh, Deacon Charles Montgomery Sr., went home to be with the Lord. Uh, his son is a real, real, real good friend of mine. And uh, his homegoing service was on yesterday. So we ask you to please keep the Montgomery family and the radio station uh, in your prayer. Amen. Charles has owned it. Him and the other guy, they've owned that radio station since about 1990. So uh, they've been in business a long time. 
we ask you, uh, we thank you all for our wonderful uh, Men's Day. We thank all our men for uh, participating. Again, today at approximately 2 p.m., amen, they start on time. Uh, the Full Sunday Fellowship will start. Uh, we ask you, sirs and ma'ams, to please come out and support it. Uh, I promise you, you won't be here all day. Uh, they get in, praise the Lord, and get out. I'm speaking of Bible study, uh, I know it was some technical difficulties uh, Wednesday because when I tried to dial in, they wouldn't let me dial in. Uh, at about five till, I tried to dial in. And finally, they let me dial in at probably about 703, 704. So I know y'all, you all had technical difficulties as well. Uh, we pray that it don't happen again. Uh, we thank you all who uh, participated through uh, Facebook. I always remember if you can't get on the phone line, you can always get on the church Facebook page uh, and join in with us. But again, we will have Bible study again, and I pray and hope that the phone isn't messed up. Had me thinking I was dialing the right, wrong number the way it kept on uh, doing. But uh, y'all know that's how it is when you're dealing with technology. Uh, we couldn't get in. On next Sunday, we will start our Sunday school. Uh, Brother Trustee Keith has your uh, Sunday school books. So please see him uh, before you leave today. Mm -hmm. He has all of the books for us, and we will start our Sunday school next Sunday at 9 o'clock. Uh, again, we don't have, we, we have a superintendent. Amen. Miss Bet Jeter is our Sunday school superintendent. But we don't uh, have an official uh, secretary. I know uh, Miss Mamie said she would step up and do it. Uh, but... Y'all, you all know that Miss Margaret Meredith was our Sunday school secretary. Amen. 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 <clears throat> so again, uh, Miss Miss Mamie is just trying to fill in until we can get one. So if God lays on your heart to be the Sunday school superintendent, please, I mean, sorry, secretary, uh, please see me or Miss Bet Jeter. Amen. 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 God bless each and every one of you. Today, Amen. We have our speaker. Amen. She knows God, and God knows her. She isn't one that, uh, that isn't ashamed of the gospel. She doesn't mind praising the Lord with or without anybody. And I always say that's a real praise, amen, when you don't need no audience, when you don't need no posse to praise the Lord, you can praise him by yourself. Amen. That's a real praise there. Amen. amen. I always say she's very knowledgeable of God's word. I've told her many times, if I ever go on a biblical trivia show and I need a partner, She's my partner. Amen. 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 She one that loves the Lord. She loves God's people. I know that for a fact through her kind gestures and the great gesture that she just showed a few weeks ago by blessing the missionary. That's what a child of God does. Amen. 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 So after the choir blesses us with a selection, the next voice we will hear will be our very own. Minister Betty Beatty. Amen. Amen. Give the choir a hand clap as they come. There's a leak in this old building in my soul. My soul has got to move. 
before this time another year I may be dead and gone but before I go I want you to know
Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. If you miss me down here, hey, I'm moving on up the King's Highway. Thank you, Father. I got another building not made by man's hand. Hallelujah. 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 Praise his holy name. Thank you, Father. Yes. Yes, we bless your holy name today, Lord God. Hey, there's none like you in all the earth. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, God. Hey! Nobody like you. Nobody can do the things that you do. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you Lord. I give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, on today. I bless him. He woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. Thank you, Father. And I give honor to my pastor, to the deacons, the trustees, to all the members and friends, to all our ministers on this roster, to everyone in his place on today. Amen. Amen. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. And I like to thank the church. I just want to thank you right now for the opportunity to stand before you this morning to preach the word. Everybody don't get a chance to do this. But I say thank you for it. You didn't have to do it, but I'm so glad that you did. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, I humbly bow before you this morning. Thank you for extending your hand of grace and mercy to me on today. Because I can't do it without your grace. It's your grace that empowers me to do what you have called me to do. It's your grace that empowers us to live a victorious life. Father, we can't do nothing on our own, so I say thank you. Thank you, Father God. And Father God, right now I ask you to breathe on me this morning. Anoint me to do what you have called me to do. Think through my mind and speak through my lips. Father God, reveal your heart to me on today. God, look upon this, the membership on this morning. Father God, speak to you, them through your spirit. Give them a witness that you are with them on today. That you will never leave us and you won't forsake us. But God, give them listening ears. That they may hear what you are saying on today. Because your word is life to those that find it. And your word is health to all our flesh. So God, we eat your word on today. We need it to live in this life today. And we thank you for your help. I give you praise. I give you the glory. And Lord, right now, I just want to reach out to some sick and shut in. Father, I come lifting up Sister Nelly to you today. Evangelist Watson to you today, God. God, touch them with your finger of love. Heal them by your grace and your mercy. God, restore their health. 
that they may again come rejoicing in the doors of New Prospect Baptist Church. God, we know you're able to do it. And I believe you will. This is my prayer for today, Lord God. And Brother Macbeth, God. You're a miracle worker. <laughs> Your word says you won't withhold no good thing from those who walk up right before you. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives, God. Thank you for what you're doing in his life. Thank you for raising them up, Lord God. Thank you for keeping us all. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. My scripture reading is coming today from Psalms 30 and 5. <clears throat> for his anger endures but a moment in his favor is life weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning amen My subject is, today is, weeping may endure for a night. <clears throat> Joy cometh in the morning. There are times when life can throw us some serious curveballs, some hard knocks. They can literally knock us off our feet, take the wind out of our sails, and leave us in a broken mess. But that's the way of life. Being a Christian doesn't mean you will never encounter problems in your life. It doesn't mean adversity won't confront you. It doesn't mean you won't have some struggles and face some challenges along the way. Amen. Jesus said in this world you should have tribulation. Mm -hmm. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. In fact, 1 Peter 4 and 12 tells us not to think it's strange when a fiery trial come upon you to try you. They're going to come. We live in a fallen world where bad things happen to good people. And you can be going along minding your own business and trouble will find you. Sometimes our circumstances get so bad that it seems all we can do is weep. All we can do is mourn. Amen. In today's text is when David was dedicating the temple to God. But just before this time, it appears that David was experiencing some difficult days. It was a time when he was experiencing a near-death situation. And I know you all can agree with me that he was living in some dark days. A time when you know, don't know if you're going to live or if you're going to die. Amen. There was no light, only darkness. Mm -hmm. There was no joy, only pain. Yeah. There was no hope, only despair. Yeah. Have you been there? Yeah. Are you there right now? Yeah. So David pins the 30th division of Psalms. And I believe you can sum it up with this verse. For his anger endures, or it lasts only a moment. Mm -hmm. But his favor lasts a lifetime. Amen. In his favor is life. Yeah. Weeping may endure. Mm -hmm. It may remain for a night. Uh -huh. But joy and rejoicing comes yeah. in the morning. Oh, yeah. Praise oh, God. Yeah. So my first point says, his anger is but for a moment. That tells us God does get angry. He does get bothered and upset with some of the things that we do, with some of the things we say, and how we act sometimes. 
It upsets God to see you acting in a way that doesn't give glory to him. You are to be an imitator of Christ and display him to the world. You often hear the unsaved man say, why do I want to be a Christian? What when they are doing the same things that I'm doing? They're going to the club on Saturday night. They hitting the ABC store. They taking a the little drugs every now and then. No. You got to be different from the world. That's why he chastises us sometimes. He chastises you to bring correction in your life. He said, come on, child, get back in line. You got to reflect me to the world. You can't, you live, you are in this world, but you are not of this world. Chastening doesn't feel good at the time, but it is a sign that God loves you. For whom he loves, he lo calls you a son. He calls you a daughter. Amen. He wants to be in a right relationship with you. So don't despise the chastening of the Lord. Repent. Turn around. You know right from wrong. Come back into a right relationship with him. The good news today is his anger is just for a moment. It's not going to last a long time. You see, and I'm glad God is not like man. Because man holds grudges. He will stop speaking to you for days, weeks, months, and years. He'll remove your name from his phone book. He'll cross the street to keep from speaking to you. But I tell you, I'm glad God is not like that. Our God don't hold grudges. That is not in his character. He is a God of love. And love overcomes all things. So anger can't last a long time. We have a promise from his word in Psalms 103.9 that says, He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. Amen. Amen. My second point is his favor lasts for life. Grace is God's unmerited favor that he pours out on his children. You can't earn it. It's a gift. So favor means that God approves of you. He knew you before you were knit together in your mother's womb. You were fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. And when others may call you a nobody, he calls you by your name. He calls you daughter. He calls you son. You are the apple of his eye. Amen. He rejoices and sings over you. He calls you blessed. And if he had a wallet, your picture would be in it. Amen. Favor gives you preferential treatment. Your gift will make room for you and bring you before great men. What would take years for you to accomplish on your own would take mere days, weeks, or months simply because of the connection in the room. Amen. When you're in a room, God will cause others to see you and bring you from the back to the front. Amen. He'll cause others to give you the best seat in the room. You see, favor ain't fair. Favor will open doors that no man can close and close doors that no man can open. Favor can give you a promotion that you didn't qualify for. And when you pay your tithes and offering, favor will cause men to give into your bosom. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together and running over. Favor will have blessings running after you so that you are filled to the full until you overflow. When favor is in your life, no man can stop it. No man can block it. What God has for you, it is for you. And there is no limit to the goodness of God. 
My third point says that favor assists you with your endeavors in life. You need favor to help you raise your children. Lord God, we got all this killing going on in this world today. Used to be it was the grown up, but you got kids killing people in the schools. What in the world is going on? We need to raise our children. We need to stop putting them before a TV, stop putting a phone and a an iPhone and a whatever the book is in their hands. You need to talk to them. Teach them what is wrong and what is right. Amen. It takes a village to raise them. And we got to be about our father's business. The Lord says if you train them up right, they won't embarrass you. Man, we need favor to stay in a marriage. Amen. You need God to be in the midst. He said what he has joined together, let no man put asunder. You know, marriage is a partnership. It's a covenant. Yes, and you are to love one another. Amen. 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 But a threefold cord is not easily broken. Amen. You need God Amen. to help you stay married. Amen. Amen. And you need God on your job. Hey, you need some help on your job when you encounter, seem like the devil on the job. You need him so that you don't say wrong things, that you don't speak wrong things out of your mouth. You need him so that you don't show out. You know, that's how always getting that attitude, rolling your neck and rolling your eyes. You need God. Amen. Amen. Grace. God's unmerited favor. It helps us to live a victorious life. It gives us the power we need to do what God has called us to do. It gives us power to forgive those who hurt us. And it strengthens us in our faith. I tell you, I can't live without grace. I would be lost without his grace. Amen. Thank God, favor is for life. Amen. And it is sufficient for all of our needs. Amen. My third poem says, weeping may endure for a night. Weeping, crying, mourning. It only lasts for a night. Amen. Not even a whole day, he says. Amen. He says it lasts for a night. You may be going through a season of mourning uh -huh. where circumstances cause tears to flow from your eyes. Yes. You may be mourning the loss of a loved one. You may have been diagnosed with that dreaded C word. Uh -huh. You may have lost a job or your business has bailed up. It doesn't matter what your circumstance is, there is an end to it. There is an end to your suffering. There is an end to your struggles. They didn't come to stay, they came to pass. The psalmist says, weeping may endure for a night. God has set the boundaries of how long it can stay. He says it can only stay a night. It can only stay for a day when the sun is down. The time between dusk and dawn. Your dilemma has a beginning and it has an end. The woman with the issue of blood had an issue for 12 years. And one day she heard Jesus was passing by. She pressed through the crowd, touched the hem of his garment, and her issue dried up just like that. There was a lame man laying at the pool of Bethesda for 38 years. Oh, yeah. Jesus told him, take up your bed and walk. Yeah. He got up, 
took up his bed, and he walked. His night was over just like that. Jesus put mud on the eyes of the man born blind from birth. He said, go wash in the pool of Siloam. And instantly, his night was turned into day. Your weeping, it only lasts for a night. Child of God, it doesn't matter how long you've been in that broken place, that wounded place, or that lonely place. God is about to step into your situation and turn that thing around. Your suffering is a setup for God to show up in your life. Your morning days are about to come to an end. Your worst days are behind you, and your best days are ahead of you. Ain't you glad today? Trouble don't last always. Somebody give God a hand clap of praise. His anger is but for a moment. His favor lasts for life. Weeping endures for a night, but joy cometh. Joy cometh in the morning. Ecclesiastes says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. It's a time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. We go through seasons of suffering when we have the assurance of God that after you have suffered a little while, after the heartache and pain, after you've been through the fire and after you've been through the flood, here comes the joy. Psalms 126 and 5 say, They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. I tell you, it's morning time. The night is over. David said, you turn my morning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. It's time to celebrate the goodness of the Lord. It's time to praise his holy name. The Lord has done great things for us. He is mighty in battle. It's time to break out the singing and the dancing. For the Lord has given me victory over all my enemies. I am victorious in Christ Jesus. He fought the battle, but I won. He restored my health. He put a little money in my pocket. He mended my broken relationship. He delivered me from that addiction. I tell you, it's a new day. Praise God. It's in a new season. I can see clearly now that the rain has gone away. There's no clouds in the sky. And I believe everything is going to be all right. Because it's morning time. I can smile again. I have peace within. So praise the Lord, all you saints. Thank him for his mighty acts towards the children of man. He forgives our iniquities. He heals our diseases. He redeems our life from destruction. He crowns our head with loving kindness and tender mercy. He satisfies our mouths with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagle. Praise the Lord, saint. Praise him for his loving kindness and his tender mercies. Praise him because his mercy is new every day. Thank him because every day he don't give us what we deserve. We serve a great and mighty God who loves his people, who laid down his life so that you and I can overcome whatever the enemy throws at us because he's with us. He said he won't leave us and he won't forsake us. Saints, I believe and I declare the season of struggling is coming to an end. Your season of suffering has ran its course. You are about to feel that heaviness lift up off of you. You are about to come into armloads of blessings. Hey, people will look at you and say, what in the world? It's something uh, maybe you can't explain, but it's the goodness of God. Amen. He loves us. Amen. 
He wants to supply our every need. He don't want you to be sad. The word says, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. He nailed it to the cross. You can mourn, but you don't have to stay there. You got help. The word is your help. Read the word. Believe what the Lord has told you. He says, you're going to go through things. I went through it in this world. And if I go through it, you're going to go through it. But I have overcome everything for you. You don't have to sorrow as if you don't have any hope. I'll be right there by your side. I am just a prayer away. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I thank you. God, I praise you and I bless your holy name. We can rejoice today because Jesus endured the pain and the shame that was heaped upon him on that cross. He endured horrible circumstances for the joy that came out of it. He chose to walk in obedience to God. And because of that joy that was set before him, the joy of reconciling man back to God. That's what he came for. It was for the joy of conquering sin and death. It was for the joy of the resurrection. To know that in this life, when your body goes to the ground, your spirit goes to God. Amen. It's not the end of things. Amen. The joy of making a way for us to be free and experience a new life. Amen. He endured the hostility so we will not grow weary and lose heart. Amen. Day to day, we can experience joy in the midst of our worst circumstance because weeping may endure for a night. Joy comes in the morning. Amen. Amen. Doors of church are open. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. I made it through another day's journey. God kept me here. Will there be one? Another day's journey. God kept me. Tomorrow isn't promised.
Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Our wise God, our Heavenly Father, Lord, we come thanking you for another day, for another opportunity for us to bless your holy name. God, we come in the humblest way that we know how, with our head bowed in the locks of our shoulder, talking to our Father who sits high and looks low, who we still believe has all power in his hand. Knowing, God, that weeping may endure for a night. That means, God, sometimes we may have to cry. Sometimes, Father, we may be sad. Sometimes, oh God, things may not go our way. But God, the key word was may. But God, you let us know that joy will come in the morning. God, we know that joy is on its way. God, the word says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver them of them all. God, we know, God, that everything's going to be all right. God, we come lifting up those names on the healing list today. God, we come lifting up Miss Ethel. God, we lift up Miss Sharon Robinson. God, we come lifting up Miss Bob Jeter. God, we come lifting up Bill Macbeth. And God, anybody else, God, who may be in need of a healing. God, anybody else, God, that may be calling on your name. Knowing that at the name of Jesus, something has to happen. Then at the name of Jesus, God, a change will take place. Then at the name of Jesus, oh, Father, God, deliverance will occur. Somebody's calling on you right now. God, they've tried every doctor. They've tried every medicine. They've tried every clinic, every hospital. But when they try Jesus, Jesus can make it all right. God, we come lifting up the bereaved families today. God, loved ones, God, who answer the master's call. God, let them know what it says in Psalms 30 and 5. We can may endure, but joy will come. God, let them know, God, that earth has no sorrow, that heaven cannot heal. God, we come lifting up the New Prospect Baptist Church. God, been serving you for a mighty long time. God, a church who can say down through the years. The Lord's been good to us. God, we've had to cry sometime. God, we had to weep and moan from time here and there. But God, you give us joy that the world don't understand. God, you give us peace that surpasses all understanding. For that, God, we say thank you. God, we pray that you have you have blessed us for the past hundred and thirty-seven years. God, that you keep on blessing us for 137 more years. Because the God that we serve is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God, we thank you for the message and the messenger today. God, we ask you to pour back into her what she poured out into your people. God, trying to help somebody, trying to tell somebody the story so that you can get the glory. Because, God, everything we do, God, we do it for you. God, we thank you today. God, we love you today. God, and as the song said, God, this building keeps on running. And our soul has to move to a building not made by man's hand. God, we realize that one day, God, that when this life is over, God, we want to hear you say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. God, knowing, God, that we went through some trials down here. God, we went through some troubles down here. Father, we went through some tribulation down here. But one of these old days, payday is coming. And it's going to be all right. God, until then, we'll always be your children. And you'll always be our God. God, we bless you today. God, we love you today. Father, we honor you today. We worship you today. We magnify you today. Because you are God and God all by yourself. In Jesus' name we pray all God's children said, Amen.
Amen. God bless each and every one of you. Amen. And we thank God uh, for each and every one of you. We thank God for Minister Beatty. Amen. Reminding us, amen, that weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. We ask you please, sirs and ma'ams, amen, to join us back here at 2 o'clock for our uh, full Sunday fellowship. Amen. With our sisters and brothers in Christ. Amen. We've been having a great time so far this year. Amen. And I do believe we're going to have a great time today. Amen. Minister Beatty will come and dismiss us in her own way. Amen. I pray that you all bought your umbrellas in here because Thomas Earl just opened the door and God has opened up the floodgates. Amen. It's raining real good outside. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. I pray something that was said, something was sung, something was prayed to help you along your way today. Something that's going to take you for many days to come. Now, if our hearts and minds are clear, let us stand for the benediction. Let the church say glory and honor to your name and father we pray that as we leave this house today that father god that we won't you won't leave us by ourselves we pray that you go with us up to the up the highways and the byways lord god suffer no hurt harm and danger shall come upon us now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before his throne with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, henceforth, now, and forevermore. Amen.